What is going on, everybody? You better get ready for some sick brony action because we are going into the Vast Pony Canyon, I think. Vast Pony Valley? Let me see. Vast Pony Canyon. If you missed the past couple episodes, we've done a couple things. We picked up definitely a dragon, the executor that's totally a dragon as everybody knows, who has the world's lowest special defense, but has a whopping 123 special attack and covers grass and psychic, which is a very useful. We also picked up Stina, who I don't remember why I named her that, <laughs> um, but who learned Trop Kick, who I was just reading for the first time, also lowers the target's attack stat, which is incredible. So we have a duking battle. So, Stina has very high special defense. As we know, we got it in a trade, and the person said that it has extremely high special defense, which makes me assume that it has perfect IVs. It also had a special defense boosting special uh, nature, so it's probably going to be pretty good. So, this episode in the valley, we will be duking it out to see who, Defa Dragon or Stina, is going to be our grass coverage going forward. Executor is a better move pool. Stina, it looks like, has the better defensive typing. Um, although grass is a terrible typing, but it has much better defense as a whole. Otherwise, we caught Gramble two episodes ago, and, um, I don't know, some other crappy encounter. But hopefully we'll go into the Pony Canyon and maybe get ourselves a Pony? Maybe a Ponyta? A Lowland Ponyta? Is Galarian Ponyta Fairy, or is it a Lowland Ponyta? I don't actually know. But let's get in there and let's talk to the newly appointed... Uh, Ula, Uma, Pula, I forgot her name. The newly appointed tiny short girl who has become the Kahuna and is hitting on Lily borderline constantly. Sweeping views. Apu, I for how could I forget her name? Did everything, uh, did everything go well? Yes, it did. The rabbit to help me out is all sorts of trouble like usual. Nothing wrong with that. People cannot survive all on their own. They've got to help one another. Same for Pokemon, too. That's what my grandfather used to say. <laughs> oh, horse sounds. I would like to see this battling skill of yours, Rob, that makes Lily smile so. Just so it is my grand trial, I may be young. I kind of pictured her as like an old lady. But I guess she's kind of like a little girl at the same time. She's, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've been using that weird voice. But that does not mean that I'll be outdone by any of those other kahunas. I'm certainly, I'm certain that my bond with Mudsdale and the rest of my team are the closest you will find anywhere in Alola. Do you want to try to take me and my Pokemon on at our full strength? Only if you want to take on mine, I guess we're doing the grand trial right now. I'm Kahuna Apu. I've made the sparkling stone that you tapu that the Tapu entrusted me with into a Z-Ring of my own. Having a Z-Ring will do, Rob, means that we'll battle with the Tapu beside us. This is the first grand trial of Kahuna Hapu. We'll battle with everything I got. I was not expecting this, and I was really... I hope Gyarados is the first in my party, because I want the free Intimidate. And he's flying type, and presumably she's going to have ground types. So... Gyarados? Ah, $500 dollar bill, y'all! Let's go! I think Diglett... Doug Trio is straight steel? Maybe? Um, it is apparently not straight steel because I have a powerful, powerful Aqua Tail. I'm not going to use my water move yet because I think Aqua Tail is going to do a ton of damage. Sucker Punch is fine. That's not going to do much. Wow, it did more than I thought, but still, Aqua Tail should wreck this Doug Trio. Let's go! Get wrecked, Doug Trio, you absolute buffoon! Get off my canyon stage! Get out of here, Scoob! Basically, at this point, I'm just trying to preserve Scoob until we can get more Zygards to level him up. Flygon is a dragon ground type, so Aqua Tail should be fine here too, assuming it doesn't use like a super hyper effective Dragon Pulse or something. Uh, let's see what Aqua Tail does. It should do a lot. Dragon Breath, so that might paralyze, but it shouldn't do too, too much damage. Not bad. Aqua Tail should do at least half. Ooh, not quite. 
Do I want to go for the KO with the Z power, or do I want to keep... I'm going to use Ice Fang. And see if that does more damage because of its Dragon typing. Dragon Breath's fine. And we're going to have to switch. Ice Fang KOs? Let's go! I remembered my typing's one turn too late. Because it's Dragon and Ground. That makes sense. Or maybe it's Ground Flying? I don't actually know what type Flygon is. Death of Dragon grew to 41, which is dope. Gastrodon, which is Water Ground. Which means it's very, very weak to Grass. So Stina... Get your first Stena. Why did I name it that? I don't remember it. What is I calling it? Christina? And I just shortened it to Stina? I don't know. Let's try out our first Trop Kick. And see how much that does to, I believe, four times weak? Because it's ground water? It did good, and it lowers attack. So if we get a Body Slam here, we're, we should be okay. Muddy Water... Water's not super effective, so we should be fine. And Stina has very high special defense. So that's more than okay. And it didn't lower accuracy, which means Trop Kick should KO here. Going well, dare I say, going well. So the next Pokemon's definitely going to have a Z-Power ground move. So I think I'm actually going to switch... It's definitely going to be Mudsdale, right? I think I'm going to... It wants to learn Leaf Storm. Ooh, is that a physical move? It's a special move. I have incredibly bad special attack. So I'm going to say negatory to that. Uh, let me double check my special attack. Yeah, this special attack's 46. So I'm going to say it's going to be a no-go for me, dog. Okay, let's go. So the last one's going to be Mudsdale. So Mudsdale's Z move is going to be ground. Which means if I send out Jetfire, it won't be able to hurt me. Or Gyarados. Gyarados will also lower the attack. I'm going to send out Jetfire, and then if things get tricky, I'm going to send out um, Gyarados. And then we can get the free attack lowering. And hopefully this thing doesn't have stamina, because that would really ruin my, uh, my whole strategy here. But the Z-move shouldn't affect me. Um, I'm gonna use flying. Maybe I can just make the Z move miss. Is that possible? The Z moves miss? Double kick. Ha! You fool! Let's see if this thing has stamina. The greatest ability of all time. It does. So that's not great. And it knows counter. That's also not great. And I don't have any buffing moves. I'm going to go with a very weak Rock Tomb, just to get the speed drop, to make sure everybody outspeeds going forward. Stamina, I know, but the game plan is to get a Grass-type Pokemon in there and use a special move. Counter won't do much because I used a very weak move. Good. Okay, I'm going to heal Gyarados, and I'm going to switch into Gyarados next turn. I'll take the free attack drop. I'll hope that he uses counter and then nothing happens like he just did right there. And then we'll see how much an Aqua Tail does or maybe just do a Dragon Rage. But it can't hit me with ground moves because it's flying as well. It resists fighting because it's flying. And counter if I don't physically attack it is fine. So double kick shouldn't do much at all. Perfect. Oh, two kicks. Forgot about the second one. Um, it's buffed twice, and it knows counter, so I'm going to do Dragon Rage. See how much, I assume it, it can't have more than 160, or sorry, 120 HP left. Stamina's fine, we're doing Dragon Rage, and the backup plan is to send an Executor and use special grass moves. Or special Psychic. Double Kick does nothing, that's fine. Counter will do nothing with Dragon Rage, so we should be pretty well walled here. I know, Stamina, that's fine. One... Two. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. Hopefully she doesn't heal. That would just make this battle really long. But what an absolute hole to have in a team. She did heal. So she did heal, which blows. 
but the fact that she basically doesn't have an answer for flying types with her final Pokemon is kind of a weird hole that I did not expect. <clears throat> Turned out to be actually quite the easy battle, assuming nothing crazy happens. Yeah, so we're about to KO here, assuming she doesn't heal. She doesn't. We KO. And that turned out to be the second easiest trial of this entire thing. The only trial that was easier was the fire trial, because we had a fire poison type in our in our Mudsdale. Just used Bulldoze and one hit KO'd, because it's four times super effective. Of course. But that turned out to be really easy, too. It wants to learn Dragon Dance. Wow. Dragon Rage or Dragon Dance? Dragon Rage does very consistent damage, but Dragon Dance lets me buff to the max. I'm going to get rid of Dragon Rage. I'm assuming that if, in, if I'm in a situation where I need to use Dragon Rage, because my other moves aren't strong enough, I should be able to just buff with Dragon Dance, and then be able to use those same moves that I wasn't able to use before, and be buffed going forward. So I'm, Dragon Dance is a beastly move. <laughs> Thud, that's the sound of your strength rocking me to my core. You suck. <laughs> kind of pumped. Kind of pumped about that easy victory. I was a little worried, but I... Turns out, when the first 50 Pokemon you catch are all flying type, the ground type leader is not that hard. Take your ground type Z crystal, then the Groundium Z, which is going right to Scoob. Forgot my water. It's all the way over there. I'm thirsty. We did it. I'll teach you the pose, too. <laughs> Epic! Dope. I'm, uh... That'll give Scoob a really powerful ground move. Phew. Well, I must applaud you, Lily. You sure found a prodigious trainer. Yeah, I'm the best trainer in the whole world. And go on... Uh, go on with you two. Head straight through here and find the altar. And hopefully another encounter path to the shrine is through the canyon you'll find other trainers in this place though they came for training it will be a tough road so this is i'm guessing the equivalent to victory road stop neighing mudsdale you didn't hurt anybody thank you happy i'll do my best yeah you'll do your best running next to the legendary trainer that destroys everybody all you gotta do is show up girl the bath pony canyon is a real beast <laughs> lol Bath King. I wonder what we'll find ahead. And what a mysterious statue. Do you think it means something? Oh, yes, we're up here. Take this. A Max Revive. Cool. That's something I can't use. It's a Max Revive I found in Aether Paradise. When I... Once I'm ready, I'm going to come after you, Rob. I'm going to catch up to you. And when I do, I'm going to become strong enough to save my mother, Nibby. Oh, yes, let's... Uh, and let me first make sure that Gyarados and the rest of the team are ready for battle. Dope. I was hoping she'd heal me up. Now we ain't gotta go backwards. Let's go. Being together with your favorite Pokemon is even better when you're all feeling their best. Thanks, girl. All right, cool. Um, I want to get Gyarados out of that front spot because I want to keep leveling up Scoob. And it looks like Steena is going to be the number one go-to. But for now, since I don't feel like running all the way back to the PC, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave my Dragon Grass type in there as well. We probably should go get. Um, slow bro, but that's nah, not a big deal. <laughs> There's a lot of trainers in here. It takes one step into the cave. I'm going to get an encounter first. And it is. Fuldor. Cool. Okay. I can't evolve it, but it's not terrible. Rock typing is not super bad. I'm going to use Land's Wrath and assume that it has Sturdy. So even if it KOs, it probably won't. But even if it did KO, I'm assuming it wouldn't because of Sturdy. Oh, that's good. That worked out. Oh, it has weak... It doesn't have Sturdy. It has weak armor. That's interesting. Rock Slide shouldn't be too, too bad. That's fine. Um... I think I have Dusk Balls? I do. We're in a cave. Feels pretty dusky out there. It's getting, getting dark. One. Two. Three. Let's go. Boulder's in there. Let's go. 
Let me see what else we have for encounters going forward. Team gain experience. I don't actually know what's left in this game. I thought the grand trial would be like the the last trial would be like the last thing. So maybe there apparently there's more. Did I already catch a Reganrola? Or have I just seen it? It's orange crystal is a mass of energy. Just one crystal fragment would provide enough fuel for a hundred dump trucks. Dang! Have to give it a nickname. I'm gonna give it uh fantastic. Because it reminds me of the guy from Fantastic Four, whose name is escaping my mind. The rock dude, who walks around all sad during that terrible movie. Let's see what he's got going on. Or send one with a box because my keyboard didn't register my second down click. Cool! Let's see what else we got for encounters. So, that was our... Vast Pony Canyon encounter. So apparently, according to... This... Encounter guide from a blog. That I don't know why I'm trusting, but I am. We have an encounter at the Altar of the Sun and Moon. For the legendary, and then we have Mount Lanakila. So we'll see. We'll see what we can get. Um, but first, uh, I want to see if I did catch a Reg and Roller already, because, it, or if I just saw one. Uh, what island are we? Pony. Wow, this is a fancy little Pokedex. Did we catch this? No. So we did not catch a Reg and Roller. That's fine. I was hoping that I could do dupes claws. But that's cool. We'll go ahead with our rock Pokemon that we'll probably never use. And other encounters of Dug Trio, which we already encountered. Hopefully it doesn't have Arena Trap. It does not. Let's go, Scoob! Let's go for a battle! Trainers and Pokemon should be free! Freedom is good. Yeah, man. Screw the government. I don't know. Who are you mad at? Challenged by Veteran Harry. Veteran of what? Veteran of Pokemon in general? Or like... What's he got going on? He's a Torkoal, which is dope. But it should be weak to ground, so... Should be fine? Although fire moves kind of scare me. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I have a pretty big weakness to fire on my team. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with Gyarados just in case, because Gyarados is my super good Dragon Legendary. So he seems to be the most valuable member of the team. Heat Wave, it's resisted, so it should be fine. Although boosted by Fire, that did quite a bit. Aqua Tail is super effective, but also reduced by the Sun, so it's just normal. But that should still do some damage. Not quite. This is like a shockingly bad matchup for me, especially when I get burned. I'm gonna do a dragon dance. I have the power! Um, let's heal up. I believe I have a full restore. I do not. I lied. I'm gonna use a hyper potion, and maybe I'll burn heal next turn? I don't know. Kind of a bummer that he burned me. That half... Cutting the attack in half with a burn like that is such a bummer. Um, who's a burn heal? So the sun goes away in a turn or two, and then this is a pretty easy battle. So I guess I'm just going to hold out. Yeah, the sunlight faded. So this should do Mondo damage. Now, not burnt. Um, no drought. And I boosted with Dragon Dance. Yeah, that'll KO. Good. So now I'm still buffed from Dragon Dance, so I'll probably leave him out there unless this is a terrible matchup. Scoob! And Jetfire. Jetfire hasn't been as useful in Arcanine. I'll leave him out there. Arcanine's a beast, but maybe we can get a one-hit... Oh, it has Intimidate. Okay, so that brings me back to normal. Maybe I can get a one-hit KO with a... I drove Vortex! Ah, 
I drove for it. It's really long animation. I see why this is a one turn thing. Okay, so we get a KO there, which is nice. We're good to go, although we almost died. Shockingly tough battle. Let me... I hate to do it, but I'm going to go back to town. I want to get Executor out of my party. And I want to get my Psychic Water type Slowbro back in the party. The Slowbro is much better. They're essentially the same thing, except swapping out grass for water. Because they both cover Psychic, but Slowbro has better defense generally. And we can also look at our Bulldore while we're here. What up, Bulldore? He has a defense boost in nature, which is pretty dang good. And he knows all rock moves. But weak armor is kind of a bummer. And straight rock type... He's not four times weak to water, which is good. But the joy of ground rock types is that they resist a lot of physical moves four times. Or I think maybe just normal moves four times. It gives him more weaknesses, but it also gives him more resistances. So that's kind of a bummer that he's just straight rock, but he's a niche Pokemon anyway. With such expanded move pool types, you can't wall anybody with rock types anymore anyway. Let's go back to where we were. The Vast Pony Canyon. Zoom. Oh, it brings me to the entrance? Dang, bro. Why is the flag still there and not in the Vast Pony, Pan Vast Pony Canyon? Like, this is definitely where I'm supposed to be. Another trainer. Oh, I can do... I can break these. I'd love to call Tauros. Whoops. Not enough space and then a Bulldor encounter. Like dang, Scoob. I could use the defense EVs here. Maybe I'll come back and train. Speed and defense EVs might not be bad for uh, Scoob. Boom! The getting on and off of Pokemon thing is cool and all, but, like, come on. Another Bulldor. Am I just going to face 9,000 Bulldors and 9,000 Duck Trios in here? The one thing I will say about this game is it does seem like they didn't spread the Pokemon as well as I would like. We've had 1,000 Pelippers and 1,000 um, Gumshoes. We've had a million of those. A Carbink. That would have been cool. I wonder if it has Levitate. That'd be nice. Immunity to ground. Let's... Oh, she spotted me! Trial has come all the way out here? What's the deal with this kid? With the kids in Alola? <laughs> About to get beat, girl. You're challenged by Backpacker Purdy. She's Purdy. She's got a Whimsicott. Which is a fairy type? Remember when I had a Cottony? That was a thousand years ago. It was like 30 episodes ago. Uh, I don't actually know what it's weak against. Poison? It's a fairy type. Maybe it's fairy grass and I could four times a week uh, KO it with a poison jib. <laughs> Mega Drain. That should do a moderate amount. Not that bad. Oh, and Liquid Ooze, baby. The one time that's ever come in handy. Sludge Wave. Cotton Spore slows me down. I'm already slow AF, bro. Send the sludge. Boom! Let's go. Four times a week. I love it. I wish I had a Whimsicott, though, because Prankster is a super good ability. Scoob grew to 1557. Lola is great. You and your Pokemon are great. You received 1056 for winning. I don't know why I didn't say 1056. Tauros, where are you at, bro? Boom! Wait. Oh, that's where I just came from. Whoa! I just figured that out. <laughs> that's kind of funny. A Golbat! I wish my Golbat didn't die. I also wish that I remembered to use a Repel, which I think I have. So let's do that. Uh, God, there needs to be a search by letter. Would it be in here? 
No. Super repel. Good enough for me. I'm feeling super. I don't know if Scoob's actually high enough level to make that matter. Boom! <laughs> Taurus picks up the Pokeball off the ground just like... <laughs> picks it up with his mouth. Oh, wait. What's this? What's going on over here? A star piece! Also known as free money. Oh, a double battle. Let me make sure my team's correct. Scoob and $500 not the best. Mm, I'm gonna go with Stina. I think grass, fly, grass, and dark, and ice, and water coverage should cover, like, everything. So we're good. The most dangerous spot in Alola. Allow me to test whether you can get past the vast pony canyon. Show me how serious you and your Pokemon are. Okay. Let's do it. I wonder what the final battle is in this game. Is it Plumeria? No, she was nice to me. Oh, I gotta be defeat the Aether Paradise Lady. Lily's mom. That'll probably be the final battle. Because there's no Elite Four, right? Ooh, they've got Alola Pokemon. Dope. Although not good for my grass type. Although the Free Intimidate's nice for Sand Slash, but not great, not really useful for Ninetales. Um, who resists Ice? I do not have a lot of good coverage for Ice. I guess Fisher Cat because he hits hard. You can go out and then Gyarados can. Aqua Tail? Sand Slash? I don't know. I don't understand these ice typing things. And I don't know if Ninetales is ice or fairy. I'm a little confused between Ga oh, Ice Beam. Well, there you go. That shouldn't do anything. Good switch. Okay, Aqua Tail, not great. But we should be able to KO Sand Slash next turn with a Psychic Slash Aqua Tail combo. And assuming Ninetales doesn't break out anything crazy, Hail's not a big deal. Aqua Tail, oh, we outspeed. I don't think Slowbro outspeeds, though. He does. And Sand Slash avoided the attack? Does it have Sand? Uh, snow veal or something. Kind of weird. I'm gonna use Psychic on Ninetales and Aqua Tail on Sand Slash. We should be fine. Ninetales uses Ice Beam. I don't think Hail buffs Ice Moves. Oh, this is turning into a whole thing, huh? Oh, we, we thought out immediately. What? Sand Slash has the greatest... Ability to dodge things I've ever seen in my life. How good is their... How good is their freaking... Evasion? Okay, um... Let's go with Super Potion... To... You? And then we'll... Crunch... You, because it has a slightly higher accuracy? Ninetales used Dazzling Gleam? Wow, that did a lot. If Crunch doesn't KO, I might die from a Slash. It does KO, though. It's not bad. Okay. Oh, Steen is traded, so he gets boosted experience. That's nice. Okay, Fisher Cat needs to heal. But I want to attack with Fisher Cat. Uh, I'll do Never Ending Nightmare just because it's a Z move, and I believe Z moves have 100% accuracy. So I'll do that. And I'll heal up with my Gyarados turn. Dope! Dazzling Gleam hurts both, but not a ton. <laughs> Please do, like, a lot. Not quite as much as I would have liked. I probably have to heal again. Let's go with a Psychic. And I'm going to switch to Yarn. Who resists Dazzling Gleam and resists Ice Beam, so it should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. 
Psychic KOs? Come on, this world that we live in. Um, psychic, you. Poison jab, you. Hail, that's fine as long as one of these attacks hits. There we go, cool. I probably should have switched Tentacle in from the beginning, but I, I thought, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Fisher Cat has such balanced stats, which is awesome. Cena gains like 5,000 experience per battle because it's traded, which is super funny. Excellent, you guys should be able to reach the altar. Wonderful, you and your Pokemon should absolutely head to the altar. Creative writing, Game Freak, thank you. Okay, well, the altar is where we're headed next time because it's been 30 minutes, which means our time is up. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, episode 34 or 35, I'm not actually sure. Um, if you got to this point, toss a like uh, in just because be nice. Just be nice. Toss a like down there. Makes me feel good. And I will see you for the next episode where hopefully we're catching Salgo, Salgo and Leo, Salgo Leo. I don't know his name. We're catching the fire line. Let's go.